welcome to Shamrock High School on this beautiful Veterans Day. And we'd like to thank anyone in the audience here who has been or has been related to a veteran. We truly appreciate their service. This is a wonderful ceremony this morning because it gives us an opportunity to recognize students who have been singled out for awards for many different reasons. A terrific teen has to be specifically nominated for this award by a teacher. The teacher can only nominate one student. As you will hear and read, the reason for each nomination must be expressed in writing by the teacher. A terrific teen may be the best student or the hardest worker. The student who has always done his best or is now beginning to do his best. The student who has a great attitude or has the most talent. In short, there are many avenues to becoming a terrific team. And whatever the reason for your being here today, congratulations. You truly deserve this honor by us and your parents to receive. I'd like to thank the parents who are with us and the grandparents. You know, we truly have an extraordinary student body here. And it's because of your efforts, it's because of your efforts at home that they are here this morning. So we thank you for sending us your students. Our, sp our speaker today is Mrs. Kelly Watson, an assistant principal at Shalman High School and a former terrific team. There are many opportunities for recognition here at Shelmet High School, but few are as prestigious as the Terrific Teen Award. This award is given to students who have demonstrated the ability to live by our school's motto of being respectful, responsible, and positive, an endeavor that is more easily said than done. You see, it takes practice and commitment to excellence to meet these standards regularly, even for adults. And yet, here we sit, amongst 64 young people all who have demonstrated the maturity, wisdom, and self-discipline to meet our motto's three components. Many people have asked, what makes a terrific teen terrific? I have attempted to capture the qualities of the terrific teen using Shelmet High standard as a guide. The terrific teen is respectful. He is at the very least courteous to others and acts in obedience towards his elders. The terrific teen is responsible. He takes care of himself and his environment and works diligently as a student. Finally, the terrific teen is positive. Every day, he triumphs over hardship with a smile and chooses to see the world for all of its opportunity. As you will soon see, recognition for the terrific teen award is given for many reasons, each as unique as the person who receives it. However, one thing is for certain. The terrific teen strives towards excellence in all areas and seeks to become not only a great student, but a polite, caring, and well-rounded individual. The terrific teen brings our school's motto to life, embodying respectfulness, responsibility, and positivity. Congratulations to you families, and congratulations to you terrific teens. Our next speaker here today is someone who helps us in many different ways, Mr. Charles Kassar. Thank you, Mr. Warner. Parents, and especially terrific teens, how exciting it is to see your wonderful faces in this auditorium. And you know, on a daily basis, parents, I can attest that these young people are truly wonderful people. And Miss Watson, it wasn't long ago that she walked through the halls as do you on a daily basis. And she does wonderful things now on a daily basis with you. And guess what? Every one of you are going to find your special place where you're going to make a difference on a daily basis in the life that's special for you. Today really is about helping you understand that you have an amazing destiny awaiting you. You are terrific. You are responsible. You're respectful. You're just amazing young people. People, not without faults sometimes, 
And sometimes we get caught on our faults and we realize, oh, I don't know, maybe I'm not. Guess what? You are. You really are. And 23 years ago now, I guess it was, Dr. Duplanche and I and another gentleman sat together at the old school board office and said, you know what? There's so many wonderful young people in our community and we need to start to celebrate them. And Dr. Duplanche's vision of bringing terrific kids and then ultimately terrific teens took place. You guys help me welcome truly one of the wonderful people in our community, Dr. Donald Duplanche. Um, it's great to be here on behalf of uh, the Kiwanis Club of St. Bernard Araby. Um, we'd like to really congratulate you guys. I'd like to also acknowledge some of my other Kiwanians that are here. Uh, Ms. Susie Andre, Ms. Terry Petrie, Shirley Pichon, and Mike Schutz. The, the Kiwanis Club is a funny naming funny sounding name club that uh, does service in our community that's what it does and uh, you know hopefully you guys will be joining us as you get older to do service as well as what we do um, what I have to say to you today is um, congratulations and um, and what's the next step huh okay and move on move on move on set goals for yourself and continue to go what I want to see you guys is I want to see y'all achieve and achieve high, and then I want to see you come back and help others, because that's really what it's all about, okay? Um, but in order to help others, you have to achieve first yourself, and you have to believe in yourself. And just like Mr. Charles said, there'll be bad days and there'll be days where you're going to be looking at your faults, but don't, don't dwell on that. Look at your positives, because that's what's going to push you ahead. You know, there's going to be college, and then there's going to hopefully going to be more after college as well. College is just the next step at this point, guys. College is regular, and then you got to go further. So I encourage you and your parents and your caretakers to continue to push, continue to try to do the right thing. We live in a strange world these days with a lot of things happening. Um, be careful of how you live your life. Be careful what you do with those phones. Be careful of a lot of different things, okay? Um, and watch out. Okay, because there's always people that want to get you. People don't like to see other people doing good. It's kind of interesting, okay? So watch out for other people. But at the same time, you're here to help other people as well. So congratulations. Kiwanis loves this program. Um, we love to see the people out and attend the program. I was just with a bunch of little kids. We were doing a reading program with uh, pre-K-4, and then I come to the high school, and we do you guys. So... We encompass the whole route, the whole, the whole way, and it's interesting to watch you people grow up um, and to see uh, terrific teens that were terrific teens now teaching and speaking is even more fun. So the older I get, the better it gets, okay? So uh, do your best. Always strive. Again, you know, look for the positive in life. It just depends on how you wake up that morning. You can make your own day every day. It's your, it's your decision, nobody else's, okay, remember that. Now this program is sponsored um, with the help of ExxonMobil Refinery. Um, Ms. Dorothy Hills has been with us for years. Ms. Dorothy Hills is gonna be your next speaker. We, uh, over the years, over the 20 something years, we really support, their, their financial support plus their personal support has been unyielding. So we really thank them very, very much. I don't get an opportunity to do that much. Thank you. Dorothy. Good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations to all of the terrific teens today, to the parents, family members, and grandparents who came out to support them today. We're very happy that you've taken time out to be here today. To Mr. Warren and his staff, we thank you very much for continuously having the program here at Shelmet High School. I just want to say that Shelmet Refining is very happy to be a part of this program. To the young adults today, I would like to say to you, continue to 
be the best of the best. Just uh, as Mr. Warner says that you've been selected today for many different reasons, as Ms. Watson says that some of you are actually here because you're very respectful, you're helpful, and then some of you are here for all of those reasons. So on behalf of Shell Met Refine, I'd like to say to you to continue to let your light shine, continue to be that role model for your peers. Don't ever succumb to peer pressure. Know that you are the best of the best. Congratulations. Let's see a show of hands. How many of you were terrific kids? Raise your hand. Hi. It goes all the way up the tree sometimes, huh? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank our sponsors, the wonderful people who continue to help support us in doing things like this. This time I'd like to ask Ms. Carol Munt, one of my assistant principals, to introduce our recipients. Thank you, Mr. Warner, and again, congratulations to our terrific teens. It is my pleasure to read the reason that each team was nominated. I get to voice what that teacher feels about your students. So I am just voicing what the teachers feel about the students they were able to nominate for this particular session. Ms. Jada Alfonso is an amazing young lady. She strives to do her best, and on occasion, she challenges my mind with her interest and intrigue. I love having her in my class. Ashley Baihe brings a respectful, ready-to-learn attitude to class every day. I know that Ashley's optimistic outlook will travel with her throughout high school and beyond to positively impact her future plans. She is truly an amazing, conscientious, and hardworking student. Kelsey Billiot is a great example of the ideal CHS student. She is always respectful, responsible, positive, and willing to help in class, out of class, or after school. Her great attitude shines through. I am so blessed to have the opportunity to have her as one of my students. Tiffany Brandt is a bright young lady. She is a very hard worker and very helpful to others. Tiffany always has a smile on her face. She will go far in life. Tiffany is a true leader. Tyrielle Brown is a very hardworking student. She is very helpful to her classmates and is always exhibiting responsible, positive, and respectful behavior. Yuan Bui is a terrific student. She is, a very, she is very kind and respectful and works well with others. She always works hard to do her best in class. I am very happy to have such a positive student in my class. Kai Bui is a well-rounded young man who is a true pleasure to teach. Even though Kai is new to CHS, he has made himself right at home. Always willing to lend a hand to his fellow students, Kai demonstrates respectful positivity and responsibility on a daily basis. His hard work and determination to succeed will most certainly serve him well in future endeavors. Kayla Caldwell is respectful and persistent. She always participates in class, helps others, and stays on task. She has been caught reading in her spare time without being prompted as well. Great student. Miranda Carreras is an amazing young lady. She is always enthusiastic about learning, has a strong sense of responsibility, and strives hard to do her best. She possesses a cheerful and easygoing disposition and treats both her peers and teachers with the same respect. Miranda has a lovely personality and is welcomed by her classmates. She has a positive attitude towards life, which is contagious. Julia Cawthorn is a leader inside and outside of class. She is a humble student who tries her best to go above what is asked of her. When I think of terrific teen, she is the first person who comes to mind. Sherlyn Centano has a great smile and personality. I know that I can always count on her to do the right thing, and she regularly strives to improve her academic performance. She is positive, hardworking, considerate, and always makes a point of asking me how my day is going. Shelmet High is a better place for her presence. 
Rebecca Schenevert comes to class each day with a positive attitude and willingness to help others. She's the ideal student as, it, as is evidenced by the hard work she puts forth in class and her relationships with both teachers and peers. Rebecca brightens my day daily and her warm smile with her warm smile and great attitude. I love having her in my class. Eugene Christian always tries his best at whatever he attempts. He is always respectful, responsible, and positive. Eugene is, without exception, willing to help anyone who is in need. He is an absolute pleasure to have in class. Tara Cofill is an extremely motivated student who is always on task. She is very well-mannered and an all-around great student. Tara is a joy to have in my class. Blake Coker is a very hard worker, not only in the classroom, but also outside of school. He is very involved in activities outside of school, especially his church. Blake is most deserving of this honor. Abraham Corral is a polite and interesting student. He is always positive and engaged in classwork. He is a native Spanish speaker and who has challenged himself to take Japanese because of his interest in Japanese culture. He is doing very well and always helps out his fellow students when, whenever he can. I'm glad to have him in class. Haley Creason is the epitome of a terrific team. She is an extremely hard worker and is always willing to lend a helping hand. She comes to class every day prepared and with a ready smile on her face. I can honestly think of no student who is more deserving of this honor. Dominic Curol is one of those students who makes working at Shamet High a joy. As a freshman, he entertained me every day while still performing well in class, and it has been very gratifying to see what a terrific young man he has become as a senior. Gabrielle Donnelly is a student who will surely succeed in her future endeavors due to her strong determination and great work ethic. I am pleased to have had the privilege of seeing her grow from a quiet freshman to a great leader as a senior. I wish Gabrielle good luck, and I know that she is she will keep striving for greatness. Carolina Flores is a quiet, polite, self-motivated senior who is one of those students who always chooses to do the right thing and works hard to achieve her personal goals. She is a pleasure to know, and I have no doubt that she will succeed in whatever she tries. Tyler Fogarty is a well-mannered and unassuming young man who is serious about his studies. He is always respectful and responsible. I know that Tyler's tremendous work ethic will afford him a very bright future. Tiara Gaines walks into the room each day with a smile on her face and leaves with one too. She always participates in class activities, works diligently until the bell rings, and demonstrates teamwork by helping her class partner when needed. She sets a high standard for all of the students in my class. Alexis Gonzalez is an amazing young lady who is extremely intelligent and hardworking. I love her participation in class and in the clubs that I sponsor. Alexis is truly terrific. Gregory Gonzalez Landry is an extremely motivated student. He works his hardest every day and asks for extra challenging work to push himself to excel. He is always willing to help a classmate and offer an alternative explanation for a difficult problem. He is a wonderful role model for the other students in class. Fallon Hardwin is a wonderful role model who is always on task in helping out her classmates when needed. She is a very respectful, responsible, and positive young lady. Fallon is a great asset to Shalmet High School, and it is a pleasure to have her in my class. Holly Harper is an awesome student. She comes, to, she comes in every day with a smile and willing to try all activities. She encourages her classmates and is a great team player. She is very attentive to details and has a great attitude and a calm and sweet spirit. Hannah Harrington always does her best and completes her all assignments on time, if not before they are due. She goes above and beyond in and out of the classroom. She always has a smile and offers a kind word or helpful gesture to teachers, staff, and her peers. It is a joy to have Hannah in my classroom. Mariah Hill 
is a delightful young lady who always comes to class prepared and ready to work. She shines both in class and on the volleyball court. I know Mariah will thrive in her future endeavors. I am honored to be part of her academic journey. Ashley Hontiveras is a very responsible and hardworking student who puts forth great effort in calculus class. She's, she, is very, she is a very attentive, participates well, and finds time for extra practice to ensure that she earns the best grade possible. Edward Howard always puts forth 100% effort in our class and in swim practices. He is a great role model for the underclassmen of the CHS swim team, and as captain, he models what it means to be responsible and loyal. After coaching Eddie for four years and witnessing his hard work at practices, I am very proud to know this fearless leader and awesome swimmer. Asil Jabril is a terrific young lady. She is always on top of whatever is going on and never misses a beat in class. Besides having a near perfect grade point average, she conducts herself perfectly in class. She is highly motivated and her potential is unlimited. She embodies everything PBIS. Tyler Lund has proven time and again that he is a hardworking and charismatic young man. From teaching him as a freshman to working with him as he assumes a leadership role on student council, it, is a, it has been a joy to see Tyler grow and mature over the past four years. Yahadi Marquez consistently walks into class prepared and ready to learn. She is never off task and always pursues academic growth, even though English is not her native language, as she originally hails from Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. She remains one of the hardest working students in our class. Milton Martin is beyond incredible as a student and a person. He works to help others and has the drive and determination to achieve success and great things in the future. Mandy Newton is a wonderful student who always tries her best. She is a polite young lady with a pleasant disposition and is a joy to have in class. Her positive attitude and determination will take her far in life. DJ Olson has a great attitude and beautiful presence in the CHS school community. DJ brightens the day for anyone with whom he comes in contact. Glenn Palmisano is a very polite student. He always makes sure that he does all of his work. He asks questions when he does not understand and is always willing to help others. He is an excellent student with whom, from whom I expect we will see great things. Jonas Payne is a bright student who tries his best. He is a true leader in class, is always willing to lend a helping hand, and never gives up. Since the first day of school, Jonas has been a pleasure to teach. Tiffany Potit is an outstanding student and leader. She comes to class prepared for the day with a smile and a positive attitude. I can always count on Tiffany to help me participate in discussions or offer a kind, uplifting word to her peers. She is truly the embodiment of a terrific team. Myrielle Powell is an incredibly hard worker who always has a positive attitude. I cannot wait to see all of her future successes. Brianna Ricks carries herself positively at all times, is ready to encourage those around her, and advocates for her many passions, including women's rights and LGBT rights. Because of her attitude and diligence, Brianna is able to balance schoolwork and extracurriculars, as evidenced by her stellar academic performance and her wonderful part in the STEP team's thrilling performance at the pep rally. Olivia Rivera is a wonderful student with an excellent attitude. She is always respectful, responsible, and positive. She is a joy to have in class. Andy Robinson loves learning and helping others. She is truly a gem, both in and out of the classroom. Her positive behavior can brighten anyone's day. Brandy Rodriguez is a hardworking, studious, and polite student. She comes to class prepared every day, always does her work well, and helps other students in class. Brandy is always kind to everyone, and I have never known her to utter a mean, rude, or disrespectful remark to another. Victoria Rodriguez 
is a self-motivated young lady who, who always strives for perfection. She comes to class every day prepared and ready to work. Brandy's cooperative nature and impeccable manners make her an excellent role model for her peers. Emma Roussel is simply amazing. Her intelligence, enthusiasm, and dedication are truly inspiring. Emma embodies all of the ideal qualities of a student that make a teacher want to teach. My life as a teacher is so enriched and fulfilled by students like Emma. Zena Saeed always puts forth her best effort and remains engaged in learning despite the fact that she is not a native speaker of English. She is always respectful of her teachers and very concerned about the welfare of other students. She is a joy to have in class. Peyton Shadwell is a brilliant student who always tries her best. She is positive, respectful, and a pleasure to teach. I love having Peyton in my class. Rafe Schindler is a good student who understands the importance of working safely around others. He is always willing to help out with projects when called upon. Rafe is a pleasure to teach in class. Jayanair Stepter is a wonderful student who is a pleasure to have in class. She excels in our marketing class and is always willing to help others. Donnell Taplin is an extremely respectful and responsible young man. He always comes to class prepared, ready to work, and with a positive attitude. I have truly enjoyed having him in both of my Spanish classes. Hunter Taylor has assisted Shalmet High in so many ways. He has done this with no request for reward. He just volunteers to do whatever needs to be done. He is always respectful, responsible, and positive with everyone. Mai Tra is a wonderful student. She is very respectful and positive in all of her interactions with others. She is also very helpful in the classroom, carefully following directions, always wanting to help other students in need of help with their work and willing to answer any questions. I look forward to having her in my class every day. Kevin Tran is a model student. He always does whatever is expected of, expected of him without complaint and he always exhibits a positive attitude. It is a pleasure having him in class this school year. Tao Tran is my choice for Terrific Teen because of her love of learning. Tao has a true passion for learning and is always willing to give 100% to achieve success. She is pleasant both in and out of the classroom. Hats off to this wonderful young lady who serves as a great role model for all students to follow. Alex Valencourt has consistently served as a leader and role model at Shelmet High over the past four years. She is an outstanding example of a hardworking, dedicated student who pursues her dreams and makes a positive impact on the people around her. Alex is an, is an inspiration to me and others. Lauren Valencourt has been a true leader at CHS. She has served as a member of all of our service clubs and she has sought opportunities to contribute positively to the community since coming to us as a freshman. Today, she continues this mission while setting an example of excellence for her peers. It is truly a pleasure to having her with us. Alexis Walker is a wonderful young lady who never hesitates to participate in class and lend a helping hand. With her positive attitude and perseverance, she strives to make each day the best it can, it, the best it can be. Arielle Williams comes to class every day, on time and ready to learn. Arielle always brings good energy into the classroom and never fails to turn in a single assignment. She demonstrates excellence in the classroom from the time she enters until the end of class. I am very fortunate to have Arielle as my English student. Ladies and gentlemen, our fall class of terrific teens, 64 of them. <clears throat> my congratulations to all of you. We have many people to thank for helping us with the ceremony today. You met our sponsors who are truly have been great over the many years we've been doing this. We'd also like to thank our librarians, Ms. Peggy Swartz and Ms. Brenda Bullware. They kind of organize everything, get everything together.
Mr. and Mrs. Kassar, they always handle all the nice decorations. Mrs. Kassar takes care of us as she's our host up in the, in the library for our, our luncheon and uh, our cafeteria workers who made the, the lunch today. We also would like to thank every one of you who has come. You know, uh, we do this because we want to recognize the students and you help us do that by your presence. So thank you for being here today. Mm -hmm.